Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, February 3rd. I hope you're doing well. I know we are here. Well, no, that's not true. John's on drugs. Yep. <laughs> he has a, a lower bad back and he they have him scheduled for a series of different things. And yesterday he was in agony. And so I want to finish this pretty much on time if possible because the doctor's calling in at 1030. And in the meantime, he's taking something uh, that will help him with the pain. And so I was telling them at work today, because he doesn't take anything. I mean, anything. Oh, look, there's my high blood pressure thing back there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to... You know, the great thing about going live is you got to make sure certain things are covered like that. <laughs> There you go, my medical situation. <laughs> um, anyways, he uh, he was supposed to get some stuff done. He's not going to make it till March to when they're going to do it. So we have a an appointment from a, from between ten thirty and eleven with the doctor, and I want to be there because I again I don't think he's all there right now. <laughs> Just saying, love him dearly, but. In fact, I told Suzanne at work today, I said, listen, whatever uh, he whatever he says today, he's not going to remember. I don't know if any of you have had surgery, but like when I had my eye done, um, I don't remember squat that happened after that. So you guys have been really, really busy doing your thing, and I'm going to show how to do the Apple quick way today, and then I came up with another little thing that I want to do. Oh, okay, so let's talk about that first. So John said we needed to make one of these bird houses a barn bird house quilt up there, a barn quilt block. So I made this. I pieced it. It's two inches finished, and I want it finished not raw edge so I couldn't figure out how to turn it with any of the techniques that I shared with you it just didn't work but I came up with something and I'm going to show that on top of the circles and the reason I'm doing the circles again is because I kind of alluded to how you get perfect circles with the Apple quick way but I want you to see it again because it is easy to do it incorrectly and not have good results. Although I know the Apple Pops, a lot of you went crazy over those. So there's just so many different ways to do things. And, and the Karen K. Buckley way, I'm, it, you just got to figure out what shoe works best for you. But anyways, let's take a look at what you've been posting. And this is Barbara's. Barbara, I think she's, oh, I, if I believe, if I, if I remember correctly, Barbara is doing it half size or shrinking it down so it's not as big. And all you have to all you have to make sure is that the pinwheels will fit mathematically with the insides. And maybe she shrunk the pinwheels to three inches finished, which would then give her different um, <laughs> say uh, different inside ratio size. Maybe I'm the one on the drugs. <laughs> so here's Debbie W. Look how cute. Hey, uh, I love that you could find that fabric that looks like wood print. That is really super cool. And I also love that not just one of the sticks that the birdhouses are on are lapping down into the border, but a couple, oh, yes, all of them are. So that's cool. This is so different, and it's going to be so interesting to see how this all goes together. Love the coloration. Uh, I, I, I want you guys to notice that the outside border is kind of the colors work their way around. It's not as stark as mine. And then um, what's going up in the sky, I think, is really super. So this is a fun one to be watching, and that's Graham's. This is Megwatt. Okay, this this is so cute. I adore, I, that might be a batik, I'm not sure, but I adore how that works and it makes that tree look kind of like a birch tree. And then that yellow bird is so cute. It's like, wow, look at me. <laughs> okay, this is Trisha's. I like the moon. 
kind of reminds me of an outhouse. <laughs> I hope I don't insult you, but I think it's adorable. And I can't wait to see when you get your flowers on there. Oh, wait, I don't want to do this one yet. Okay, so I adore that you that you are posting them on the forum. And yay, there we go. All right, I have some really exciting news. In the store, we finally got copies of the Encyclopedia of Pieced Quilt Patterns. This is Barbara Brackman's third book of this. The first one was a white binder of which I had it like 35, 40 years ago. I wish I hadn't thrown it away. It was all hand-drawn things. And then, then, they, then she came out with this one. And how I would use this would be, let's say I'm writing a book and I've got to come up with some patterns that are baskets or whatever. Well, here, let me get the document camera on. I would just go in the back and I would look up what I want, you know, what I wanted to make. And then I would find it and, okay, like look at all these stars, all these like 54, 40 and fight and all that. Now the, the problem or the challenge is, and this is how I learned to quilt make, is you have to know how to draft them and figure out the numbers. And honestly, I think that could be easily just a one week class, maybe in between projects so that you're not tied to patterns. And I believe in this new book, oh gosh, how many? Actually, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote one of the things on the back. Oh gosh, I don't know how many are in here. I mean, a zillion, just a zillion blocks are in here. All right. So what I like about the new book that's different from this book. See, that's mine. It's different from this book is, let's say... They've organized it a little bit differently here. Let me open this page up here. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay. All right. So, so up here, it's like Ohio Star, and then it goes down and it gives other variations of stars that are like made of this construction. And some of it's in black and white and some of it's in color. The other thing is it gives you all of the names. So for instance, let's go to 731C. It's called Eight Point Design, Lone Star, Star Design, Texas Star, Tippy Canoe and Tyler Two. Texas, Eastern Star, Eight Point Star, Shoe Fly, and Star. So when people argue over the names of blocks, it might have several names. So here we go, like Ohio Star. Oh wait, there's even more. And how this is meaningful to me is that, let's say I wanted to make, I, I, I oh no, let me say this. I know that all of these stars if I make them a certain size, we'll all go together beautifully, all right? So then now here we have like shoe fly, and it's just all the different variations of the shoe fly. So, oh, here's more. I mean, this book is just beautifully put together, and yet here's another, okay? So this is also ties, here's another, like shoe fly. When I was looking, actually, maybe that'll be a project we do at some point because it would be fun but the thing is is you do have to know how to draft in all of that so here are my notes um also the d's thing that she's doing on saturday it's the jen kenwell jen kenwell pattern long time gone for d's saturday sampler we have a couple bundles left not a lot we are out of the book and you, the book cannot be found. You know, if your local quilt shop has it, yay for you. But we have, we are getting some shipped directly from Australia. From my lips to God's ears, we'll have it in a couple weeks. Again, my lips to God's ears. And it's what Dee will be working from. When she shows you how she's piecing things, she will not be giving you cutting numbers. You've got to have the pattern because you get into a breach of copyright. So... 
it's going to be drawn out long enough that you're not going to have a problem with that. All right. Oh, okay. So one other little thing is Cindy Needham's show is going to air around Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm not sure when Valentine's Day is. I don't know. Anyways, not this next weekend, but the next weekend. And she is such a giving person. She has given us this little girl of hers, and somebody's going to win it. I don't know how Kristen is going to do that, but she somebody's going to win it. And I tell you, I took this class from her, and it just blew my socks off. This was the very first little girl. Hasn't been framed yet. The very first little girl I've made. So much fun. It's made from hankies and stuff like that. And then we found in my parents' stuff, Cindy actually marked this for me. This was in my uh, these, this was given to my dad by a teacher. And so on this show, you will learn how to do make these. And she has templates that go with it that make it really easy. She has a downloadable book that that explains how to do it and that will be available through us also. Now, the other thing I want to say before we get going is Lucian Newman was on a hundred years ago, I think the third season of the 300 series. What you're looking at there is a needle turned dot and it ends up being perfect. Well, you know how we have the master classes? We have, uh-oh, wrong one. Hey, where'd you go? I know you can still see me, but I can't see you. Uh, the, we did the master classes, and on, let me get out of here. There we go. Okay, Alex, stop, slow down. Alex, there. did you just shut off? No, I'm back on. I did something stupid. I did something dumb. I should be back on right now. Am I locked? Can you guys see me? No, I'm on. It's going. No, it's going. I see the little clock going. I think it's your computer, John. So, he's on drugs. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, we did the master class applique. And it's in two parts. It's the master class applique part two. You can see Lusion turn one of these circles. And I would say the circle is about an eighth of an inch needle turn. It just amazing and then how she does needle turn leaves with the perfect points and all that she's just amazing so that's pretty exciting I wanted to make sure you saw that all right so we're gonna do looking at my notes we're going to now do again needle, needle turn the apple stick way of how to do needle turn applique I've got to get myself positioned better here All right, so what I used is Apple um, Print and Piece Fuse Light. I That's how I did most of all of this. Yeah, Print and Piece Fuse Light. On the dull side again, I do my friction pin, and then I can cut out my circle, and when I iron it to my, my fabric, it goes away. Now this, I want to bring this down. There we go. However this circle is, is how it's going to be. So you can see right here, I've got this funny little thing. That's not good, so I'm gonna cut that off. If you have a digital cutter or a Go or um, a Sizzix, I, it, you can just knock these circles out in no time and then you put it on, you fuse it to the fabric, the shiny side is down, and then you cut out about I don't know, a uh, quarter of an inch around. So, and again, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my bird, uh, my my barn quilt too. So what I do is I come around with this glue. I love it because it dries really fast. Hence, why I have to put the lid on every time. Here's the trick to circles. I'm going to go around the edge. Hey you. 
I want you to note that I am not going all the way to the raw edge. If you go all the way to the raw edge, you're going to end up with little crinks in it or little V's or whatever you want to say. Here we go. And really, the Apple Pops and the Karen K. Buckley method, which we've explored, you know, they all you, they all agree with you, you don't, you want to make sure that the outside edge is smooth and wonderful. What is that? I'm going to cut that off. Driving me crazy. If you go all the way around with the glue right off the bat, it will be dried by the time you get there. Okay. Yeah, see, it's already starting to dry there. It dries clear. Now, see here, I'm going to get myself in trouble right here. Because if I fold down, I'm going to have that. And you don't want that. So I would go back, lift it up. I think my glue is starting to get too dry. Close it every single time. There are other fabric glue sticks. There are red ones and there are blue ones. The yellow is my favorite, and ours is a clone to Charisma from Japan that I don't even think you can get anymore, although I'm not 100%. Don't hold me to it. So now I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to see. That's a little funky in there, but I also think I cut it a little funky. So let me just, oh, it's popping up. So I've got a nice little ruffle going on. And then when I get it the way I want it, I'm going to press it. So let's bring this over here. I hope my iron's hot. I believe I turned it on. Yeah, it's hot. Oh boy, that, that I did a crummy job. Look at that. That is not acceptable. So let's see, how could I fix that? Because I'm not going to let this go to waste. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to put some more glue in it. Where did my other stick go? There we go. Actually, I like it when I make mistakes. And I know when you first start doing circles, okay, that, see, that's not good right there. So I'm going to lift it up. The glue's already dried because it's gone clear. All right. Just around the edge. See how I'm doing that? I was being reckless before. That's funky right there. I haven't been taking any of John's painkillers. I just want you to know. <laughs> I look like it right now. <laughs> All right. Again. So, see, you can correct it if it's goofy. Now, right there, that could have been a potential thing. Now, don't forget that these tools have two sides to them. So, you could get in there and do a little pulling with the pointy side. Okay. Let's see if that's better. Yes, I think so. So, that's how you do a circle. Do the outside first. Get it exactly how you want it. Then you can press the whole thing or go back and go like this and get it down that way. And then you're good to go. All right. So now let me go get my little, oh, sorry about that. Let me go get my little block that I pieced. I thought to myself, I thought to myself, oh, I'm going to use it. And then I thought, no, I really don't want to use it because I want mine to be all finished edge. So the first thing I thought about doing, and see, this is the thing like where one size doesn't fit all. First, I thought about using uh, the print and piece fuse light and cutting a two inch square and putting it inside and then folding around it. It wasn't working. I, I couldn't get it right. And so then that doesn't work. So what else am I going to do? I came up with this idea and I'm pretty proud of myself. 
All right, so here we have this the this little adorable block. And by the way, I was pretty impressed with my piecing. And I think one of the reasons it worked out gets down to thread weight, if you want to be honest. On the bottom, I had an 80 weight uh, quilter select. And on the top, I had 60 weight quilter select. If I were using a 50-50 thread on top and bottom, I don't think the accuracy would quite be there. The finer the thread, the more accurate everything's going to be. And it's if you're new to this game, it's okay to mat, mix and match threads on your bobbin as well as your top. And it's okay to use polyester with cotton, etc. The days of cheapo polyester thread, you know, from, you know, a, a craft store, it has changed significantly. The thread industry has come a really long way. So I'm just pouring in some best press. Karen K. Buckley said you can use, uh, not spray starch, the other stuff, sizing. You could use spray starch, but spray starch kind of leaves kind of a dandruff or something like that. So I'm sticking with um, Mary, Mary Ellen's best press. So I poured a little in my little ginger jar, and then, all right, I wish I had my other iron here, but that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to paint this on. This is kind of a hybrid of, of the Print and Peace Fuse Light. Okay, you can see it's all the way there. Okay, look at that little... I can see a thread in there. Now's the time to get it out. And I haven't even decided if I like this or not up there. John, John doesn't think he does. So I can see right here I have a point. And I can see right here I have a point. So I'm going to take this card right up to here. And yes, I know my address is there, but it's, I don't go there anymore. So I'm not worried about that. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it over with my iron. Wait, maybe I'm going to pinch it first. Kind of like we did with the apple pops. I did two sides yesterday. You can just I can just kind of see the little blue tip there. And I'm going to iron it. Turn it over and see how it looks. Whoops. Okay, it's a little funky, so I'm going to get in there with my little stiletto or my apple sticks and get in there and maneuver it. I mean, this is not how I would want to do a whole applique quilt. You can be darn sure about that, but this had specific needs. Okay, let me get there. It's starch there. Or not starch, the best press. Okay, that's a little funny looking. So I'm going to wet my little brush. Oh, also notice I pressed the last seams open because I wanted less bulk. Okay, there we go. That's looking pretty good, just like that. Watch out for your fingers. Now note that behind me, which of course you can't see right now, I have things sticking up there and it's not on my design wall. I'll show you a cool product I discovered. Okay, it's a little funny yet. I'm getting there, right? I'm getting there. Ah. It's these little points. Again, uh, you can see that you just have to finagle it. I, of course, this happened yesterday, no problem. And now that I'm on camera, it's nothing but problems. <laughs> well, you get the gist, right? There you go. 
I would just fiddle with it. And then I would do that one last side. The question is, is am I going to use this or not? So this is, a, I called up Kay at R&K Distributing. You know, that's the mother company of Quilters Select. And I said, I we need to get in the Quilters Select line a double-sided fabric tape. And she said, well, we kind of have one with um, R&K. And what it is, is it's on a roll, all right? And I'm going to peel this off. Tear it. I'm going to put it on the back here. This isn't permanent or anything. It just kind of is holding things in place. And then I'm going to put that up there. And then I can determine if I like it or not. Boy, I am going to have to work on that a little bit better. I mean, those sides are perfect, and that looks like garbage. But anyways, a lot of these things up here that have not yet been sewn on, that's how they're hanging up there. It's not as good as when you really go to uh, attach it. But what I will do when it's time to attach them, and I am not ready to sew yet. I'm still playing. I'll probably take my purple pen, go around like this, and then go and do my Roxanne glue. And I'll, we'll do that later on. But this is just kind of like a, I don't know, it, it just, it's about equal to a post-it note on its stickiness. And again, it's called uh, R&K Stitch Perfection Tape. And I got it in our store for us. And where you would find it would be under, you go to the store, you go to Notions, and then you go to Quilting Basics. So, oh, and it apparently, you know, you don't have to take it off. You can leave it in because in the end, it's water, dissol water dissolvable. So that's like super cool, okay? Oh, soluble, soluble. <laughs> yes, it is. So John just brought in a question. Do we have pre-wound bobbins 80 weight? Yes, we do. We do. Uh, they're we have two different sizes. I know for my Bernina it doesn't work, but I know like with Brother and Baby Lock and other machines, yes, go to the store. We have some that are neutral and then some that are all the colors of the 40 colors of the 80 weights that we have. And it's a polyester. And honestly, when I go to bind a quilt, I use the 80 weight over the 60 weight because it is stronger, which is like, you know. So... What's going on right now? Tom today's Wednesday, the 3rd. Tomorrow, the 4th, Thursday, Barbara is going to go live, and she's going to show how to do the Mariner's Compass. She encourages you to bring, for Color My World, our block of the month, she encourages you to bring questions, and she'll be there to answer them, and she'll show you any ticks tricks and tips you might need to have for that. Again, in order to access this particular block of the month, you have to be a star member, and that is $39.95. That's our COVID special. And also, when you become a member, you get a one-shot deal, 25% shopping at our store, with the exception of a couple things. There are some, like the the, there are just some things that we don't do on special because we're already giving you the rock bottom, but there's good stuff there. Okay, what about the pillow way for the little quilt? Yeah, you know, I think the pillow technique, it's just too small, but I maybe, maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I'll fiddle with that because I'm telling you, yesterday it went together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and today it's not behaving. You know how that is. Okay, um, would it be easier to paper piece the little quilt? Just piece. That is pieced. I don't know what you mean. Oh, piece it in there? It was an afterthought. But see, that's why you guys are smart. Actually, it probably would have been easier to do that. Because when it's quilted and all that, nobody would, would know the difference. So if you decided you wanted to do a little quilt, think about piecing it in. Hey! Do I leave it in or do I take it out? That's my question. Seriously, I don't know. I don't know. John says no. And I, I mean, I, I, the thing that's weird about it to me is that it's so angular, but 
it is kind of funny, right? And then he wanted me to put a cat in the bottom right-hand corner, like the little ears coming up. And then we thought, no, that's too diabolical. That's not good. Not cool at all. I'm going to see you guys are commenting on that. Leave it? Okay. In. All right. I will figure it out. I will figure that out. Okay, so Barbara is tomorrow. And then Friday, let me get back over here. I was so excited when I found out I could have a shot. <laughs> no, 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 not that kind. We're, I'm not going to be here Friday because we're going to go get our shots. Very excited about that. But then Saturday, J um, D is going to start with the Long Time Gone pattern with Jen Kenwell. Again, hopefully we'll have more pattern books within a couple, with it, well, probably... Well, just from our lips to God's ear, because it is coming from Australia. Got a question there? No. No? Should I tell them for sure? I'm not supposed to say this stuff. No. I have to. Okay. It looks good for Monday. It looks like for reals, for reals, we are going to be changing on Monday. To, to, we'll be down while the big Titanic is turning. And a lot of you have noted, if you've been on our site, our old site is just, has so many issues. The universe is telling us we have to go live. Yes, there will be problems and glitches when it comes up live. So again, I'm saying, please be kind to us. I, in the end, you're going to love this new site more because the searchability is so stinking easy. And I know right now it's like we've got this site that is just massive and where do you find things and how do you go? So there will be a fake site that you'll be directed to and everything you need will be there. I will be here live on Monday, so that's not an issue. And we just, today there was a meeting that was like, we have to go. And if, I'll tell you where we're having problems, and it's in the mobile devices. We can, we can fix that. We can do that. So never you worry about that. Okay, so everybody likes it. Do we go to the same address on Monday? Yeah, our address is not changing at all, at all. Just be kind. <laughs> okay. So, yay! Have a great day. Hopefully the doctor's going to call John and we can get that poor guy out of his misery. Do you have any other questions? Um, no? Nope. Okay, I'm just looking. Can't see. Can't see what? Cheryl, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Mm. Okay. Put a small border around the tiny block, then turn those edges. Denise, I thought about that. I, I did think about that, because that then you wouldn't be hassling all those little points. I thought about that yesterday. Maybe I'll just do that. Maybe that will take care of it. I don't know. But I'll leave it in. I'll figure it out. Pinwheels and Lois. Pinwheels and rooftops are angular. Yeah, okay. I hear you. And I gotta check in with you, Lois. Lois is Lois and I have known each other since we were young Marys. So it's fun to see her here. She's a retired school teacher, kindergarten teacher. We love teachers. So, okay, guys, have a good one. And then I will see you Monday. Barbara will see you Thursday. Dee will see you Saturday. And then I will see you Monday. Have a good one.